Hello everybody, and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. Welcome Amiibo! We have mail from Lobo. Let's see what Lobo has given us. Saw, uh, I saw this sort of unusual thing in the shop and decided you'd enjoy it. I'm right, right? Of course I am. So happy you agree. You do agree, right? He's very aggressive. But he's also cute sometimes, so like, you know, he's allowed. A washer dryer! I mean... I, Lobo, are you telling me I smell and need to wash my clothes? You're probably not wrong. Um... Okay. Ooh, Katrina! Wonder what fortune I got today! Sky wishes to speak. Hello, Sky. I was reading a book about this famous fairy tale bench the other day. I think Sapphire could really use one of those. So I'd like to propose it as our next public's work project. Hello, Isabel. No, would you please consider it? I will consider it. Hello, Katrina. What is my fortune today? Great happiness from the stars is attempting to visit me. For a mere 500 bells. Please! Yee! Ah, yes! It's coming to view. A relaxing salon quietly opens her business. The bags under the customer's eyes slowly disappear as they nap. In this place, I can see the signs. I guess I can. I see good fortune upon health. Hat. This item will be the key to truly unlocking your good fortune. Does that just mean to wear any hat? <laughs> or is there a specific item just called hat? So I guess I should probably, uh... I should probably put on a hat, um, because I'm, I'm wearing, well, uh, wouldn't this technically be a hat? Because I'm pretty sure, I mean, it's headgear, but like, it's icons a hat, so, you know what, I'm just gonna roll with it. I'll just keep the little star on, so I kind of like it. Well, no, nah, I'll go and check turnips. <laughs> I should check turnips. Oh, hey, gem rock. Another sapphire found in sapphire. Gabby has fleas, and I just noticed. Well, she may still have them. Maybe she'll deal with them on her own while we're in retail. That'd be pretty handy. Reese! What's the turnip prices? 122. Okay. Again, a price I could live with. But I kinda wanna try to get a better price. Because, like... Oh, no, she still has them. Give me your fleas! You do not need fleas! Eek! A flea! On me? No way! That did not just happen. Please, 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 don't tell anyone about this, especially not Bella. Give it time. Bella will have fleas, too. You don't need to worry. You all get fleas, and I don't fully understand how. <laughs> trying to think of things to talk about today. I suppose I could mention, I've been playing old school RuneScape, because I made a new friend, and they play old school, so I want to get my skills up so I can play with them. Because <laughs> I'm like that. Hey you, do you remember when you first started drinking coffee? When was that? A long time ago. A long time ago? You must have been really young, a baby. 
I mean, I was like four or five when I drank coffee for the first time and liked it. <laughs> I didn't start seriously drinking a lot of coffee until I was like 10 or 12, somewhere in there. But, like, I had my first, like, drink of coffee when I was like four or five, so it has been a really long time. And then I wonder why it has no in no uh, effect on me. It's because I'm so freaking numb to it that, like... I, I just don't get a, a, a rush from caffeine anymore. It would be kind of nice if I did, because then I could use it to help fix my sleep schedule. But... I. You know, and I could probably get to that point if I were to, like, stop drinking coffee for a few years, let it exit my system completely, and then, you know, only drink it sparingly, but what would I drink if I don't drink coffee? I mean, come on now. Though, like, I joke about that. Legitimately, I've tried just drinking water, and I just, I can't do it. I cannot do it. I never feel like I'm, you know, my my thirst has been quenched. I always feel thirsty, and it's like, mm, don't like. And I don't even know why. I messed up the money rock. I'm also a bit surprised that uh, things aren't having to reload, because my computer restarted. Darn it. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Freaking Gabby's flea. I mean, also, I could have sold the Sapphire while I was in retail, but I didn't. I can't put all the blame on Gabby. Yeah, I've been back playing old school RuneScape, and it it's kind of amusing to me walking along and watching players, quote unquote players, log out the moment you can see them. They're obviously bots. Ooh, we have a campsite visitor. Who is it? It's cat. It's Mary! I know it's kind of sudden, but I've decided to set up camp here. Trip was so last minute, but I'm totally glad I listened to that little voice in my head. She's kind of cute. Don't you just love this outdoorsy lifestyle? It's so fashionable right now. Plus, I'm getting to meet a ton of cool new folks. You knew getting back in the nature would be so wild. I was actually trying to see what her song is, and I remembered I actually can't do that. She is pretty cute. I'll I'll think on it. Cause like we do have room. Though I would kinda like another male villager. <laughs> Just to try to balance things out a little more. I mean the temptation is definitely there to make a waifu town, but like a male villager would be nice to balance things out a little bit. Get one ticket. I'm still mildly bummed that I can't actually get the Dream Suite. I thought you just had to um, deal with Katrina enough. I don't remember what Katrina unlocks anymore. Because I thought she was Dream Suite, but I guess she isn't. It's just seven days of being mayor and connect to the internet once. So... I'll pick up the silver later. <laughs> it's fine sitting there. Profina! Hello! Well, good morning, Steven. Lovely to see you. What do you want? I want to chat! You know what tastes good right now? An orange! Saw a tree full of them earlier, and my mouth just started watering. They look so yummy. I was in a hurry, so I didn't have time to take one. Hey, maybe you could pick one for me? What do you say? Sure, there's, there's ground oranges. I can get you a ground orange. A grunge, if you will. That. Why did I brain that 
I don't know why my brain likes to do that, or it's just like, merge the words. But it, it does, and then I end up saying it, and then I'm immediately like, that sounds awful. Uh, one of these days I'm gonna end up saying something probably offensive while doing that without meaning to. It'll be like some other language, it'll be like a curse word or slur that I'll technically end up saying. Good morning, I was hoping someone would visit. What's up? I wanna chat? Hey, it looks like you're just up for some house cleaning. Isn't that a maid dress? What do you do, spill a bunch of tomato juice all over your floor? Well, now, now I know who to call if I do that all the time. I mean, I could try cleaning, but like... I don't know, your house looks a little too far gone. You get all this mess on the floor, but... I actually don't like cleaning at all. I just think maid dresses are cute. <laughs> Hello, Fuchsia. Pookie, up and you're already up and at him. So, is there something you need from me? Want to chat? So anyway, you're cool with bugs, right? You see a butterfly, can you catch it for me? I think I can learn a trick or two about fighting from studying the way they flute through the air. Any butterfly will do, okay? I'm on it! Yeah, I can count on you, sister. Hmm... The question is, what type to get her? Ooh! Okay, that was a bad spot to try to grow bamboo. That's fine. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Hello, Jeremiah. I keep wanting to say something about old school, but I just I keep running into villagers. So they the villagers come first. Say, so, hey, what do you think of my outfit? It's pretty cool. Awesome! I finally achieved my lifelong dream of looking cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna snack on some mooncake to celebrate. Good. You better. But yes, um. Playing old school again actually reminded me of how kind of easier it is to train, but also harder when it comes to melee skills. Because combat goes faster in RuneScape 3, but you earn more XP in old school. A nice, having a nice time today, Steven? I certainly hope so. Yeah, I'm having a nice time today. So you want to eat this? This be my fruit. Yeah, it's a ground fruit. I mean, I could give you a flea. You might want to eat a flea. I don't know. You are a chicken. Can't wait. The flavor is simply delicious. Really must thank you. A manhole cover! <laughs> oh, hey! It's the reset center. <laughs> but, like... A a as example... In RuneScape 3, killing a goblin gives you, like, I think six experience to whatever combat style you're training. In old school, you get, like, two experience per HP of the goblin. So, one goblin is ten XP. But in RS3, you know, it's, it's a lot quicker to kill the goblin. So, I actually don't know which is properly faster, but... Old school feels nicer with the getting XP from every attack. It also means when you, you know, run into an encounter where you're struggling and then have to run away. I totally didn't have that happen. What are you talking about? I totally didn't have to run away from a giant frog because it was about to kill me. Uh, you at least still get something from it. In RS3, yeah, if you can't kill that monster, you get nothing. Uh... You better not want this peacock butterfly. I'm gonna try foods I can't get in Sapphire, so I decided to move someplace new- Jeremiah! You were just so happy, but- I'm not sudden, but I'm leaving on the 19th. It's been nice hanging with you. But- you, you, you can get food- I can make you foods! Please stay! What? Now I- Now how can I leave after hearing you beg me like that? Hmm. 
And settled. The move is off. I'm staying put. Guess I'll be seeing you around. Good. Jeez. Freaking Jeremiah. Well, that was you. I finally feel. I had this funny feel, and I would keep running into you, sister. I mean, you asked me for something, Fuchsia. I got your bug. Here is your bug. I also still haven't found the final fossil yet. Oh, a peacock butterfly. You caught one for me? I did. Hey, <laughs> thanks a bunch. Here, you should have this. It's shirt. It's a sailor tee. I mean, I could probably find some, like... White pants. Wear the sailor tee. Become a sailor boy. It is also kind of weird going from playing a lot of RS3 to old school. Because, like... I remember a lot of old RuneScape. I mean, I started RuneScape in 2007. So, like, I remember a fair bit of it from back then. But, like... My brain also has a lot of RS3 information in it. So, like, I'm in the corner like, okay, I could fight these level 2 goblins by Lumbridge. Or I could go to Port Sarum and fight level 5 goblins. Because there's level 5s there. There's not many, but there's some. There's none there in OSRS. They, they're not there yet. That was a later update. So I'm, I'm just still fighting level 2 goblins. Because the higher level ones aren't there. And I don't feel like going all the way up to um, Varrock. To fight the higher level goblins. If I do head up that way, it'll be once I'm at a comfortable enough combat level to just fight barbarians. I'll just fight them instead. They have more HP, thus more XP. And I am not finding this fossil. So I think I'm just going to treat this as a three fossil day, and I'll probably find the fourth fossil later. I... <laughs> I need to get back to the grind. Nah, really, I got other stuff I also want to do today. Okay, I have... Yes, I have the space for TNT Emporium. Hello, Tommy. Hey, Lobo's here looking at bamboo. Mork. So see, someone in the town seems to get gardening. What's the latest? I feel like I could really relax when surrounded by plants, Aru. That is fair. Fertilizer. Give. Gib fertilizer. I'm not gonna buy the bamboo shoot. Though, that does tell me... No, that would also crowd Bella's house and mess with flower paths, but I might see what I can do. Like, once I get the flower paths more solidly built, I plan on trying to use the bamboo to, like, decorate. So I'll basically have to have, like, a bit of bamboo here and there. I might do some bamboo on either side of Lobo's house if I can. Because I think I can do a bamboo shoot directly between his and Bella's house. And then I think that I can also... Well, I could definitely do one on the other side of his house, though it might mess with the flower paths. I might have to move it a little bit. But, with Claudia's house not there anymore, I have room to move it. So... If I have to move it, I can. But I'm pretty sure it just has to be one space away. It might have to be two spaces away, though, and that would mean... I wouldn't be able to put it, like, directly next to his house. Like, like between, like to the left and right of his house. I'd have to put it, like, south of his house. 
Which I feel like would also work. Give him kind of like a bamboo arch type deal. I could swear I looked there. I'm going back to the museum. My brain just went completely blank. Um, right. Um, there's one thing that I kind of miss being able to do, and it's it, it's something that I could probably still do if I hunted around free to play worlds long enough. But I imagine there's probably bots that do this sort of thing now. Um, I mean, there was bots back in the day that would do this too, of people basically speed grinding their mining in um. The uh, Port Serum Mine. That's what I know it as. I can never remember the name of that town that's down there that technically it's the mine in. They'd be mining iron down there and they'd just drop it. So I'd get my smithing high enough to be able to smith iron. And then I would just basically run back and forth between the people grinding their mining levels. Picking up the iron ore. Smelting a bunch of it. And then... Basically, I'd go to Lumbridge and just give out sets of iron armor and iron weapons. Doubt anyone would care about that these days. Like, most people starting up old school probably aren't playing for the first time. And if they are, they probably have a friend who's not played for the first time and has probably already given them everything they need. But, you know... I'm going to keep the shirt. Sounds like a deal. I've surpassed my bell limit. I'm still kind of tempted to sell the turnips. Ah. We have the afternoon price and tomorrow. But I could make profit now. I'm gonna hold out hope for a higher price. And I return. Time to hope the afternoon turner prices are pretty good. I hope they're good. They better be good. Reese, you better be giving me a good price. Yeah, even if she doesn't, there is still tomorrow. I'm gonna take the what I feel will be the best price tomorrow. If we don't get a good one right now. If we do get a good one right now, I think I'm just going to take it, even if it's not as good as, like, this morning was, just to play it safe. But... Let's see... Wrong button. I am a little flustered right now. Uh, turnip prices... 100 and... That's uh, not what I'd call a good price. Um, I'm going to risk it. <laughs> I'm going to risk it for that chocolate biscuit. Um, I also need to think of where to put my fertilizer. I think I'm going to go put it next to the bamboo again. I must speed up the bamboo uprising. Because, I mean, that's just how, that's how it works. Yeah, I'm, I, 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 am, I am a little flustered right now, and one of you watching knows exactly why. Uh, <laughs> I'll just leave it at that for now. Let me deal with the rotting bamboo. Duh. Yeah, uh, let's... I only did like 20 minutes earlier. Let's do a little bit of ocean fishing, because why not? May as well do a little bit. Let's see. Are there just no fish? Is, is, that, is that what I'm dealing with right now? Is there just no fish? None? There's a fish. And it moved. Darn bugger. 
Get back here. And it is... A sea bass! I had a feeling it was. Okay, let's see. What else do we got? Part of me kind of wants to just do beach cleaning. <laughs> uh... See what this is. Assuming I don't mess it up. I did not. It's a dory! It's a surgeon fish. I got so used to it going down the second, and I'm and I messed it up. Darn it. Come on. Fish. What we got? Horse mackerel. Good. Ah! Uh, freaking horse mackerels. They're not even really worth catching. Like, the, some of this random beach junk is worth more than they are. <laughs> like, the coral is probably worth more than the sea bass. Which is kind of just sad. And we got another... You know what? I'm just gonna pick up some beach junk. Because I just want a bit more bells. How much beach junk can I hold? Six. Two. Yeah, I'll try and catch this fish. And then that'll be the final thing. I don't want today to be a terribly long episode. Like, I like longer episodes, because it just lets me ramble. But when I'm mildly flustered like this, I'm... Yeah, I <laughs> just missed a fish. So I guess beach junkie this. <laughs> like, I am currently happier now than I have been in a very, very long time. And I kind of love it. Hey, Gabby. You know, I've been thinking a lot about lately how off us, us, bleh, how awesome gift exchanges are. It's a great way to get rid of something you don't want and get something new. Sure, let's do it. What do you want? Bathroom stall for a horse mackerel. Sounds great, Gabby. <laughs> what, what is this trade? Like, here's a whole ass bathroom for the most worthless fish. Like, okay. I mean, it's just getting sold to Reese, but, you know. A lot of sand dollars. You know, I'm surprised the sand dollar isn't something you donate to the museum, because it is actually a, like, a living thing. It's a type of sea urchin. So, like, realistically, we should be donating that to the museum. But, I guess Blathers doesn't want it. It reminds, reminds him too much of a bug. A little boog. Little boogie boy. But yeah. I think I'm gonna end things here, because, like... Yeah. <laughs> Lustered. <laughs> so, with that, assuming an animal does not interrupt me today, I thank you all very much for watching, and hopefully I shall see you back here tomorrow for more Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. See you all then!